my dear young parent buddies this is garangi your friend and i am here to give you all the advice to discuss and elaborate on what to do as a young new parent for your beautiful new child and we will capture all this information and all these advices in your special universe known as the parent verse Has your baby been waking up in the early AMs more than often? <laughs> Then you, as a new parent, really, really need this video. Today we have with us Miss Rashna Kadesia, who will talk to us about our child's sleeping habits. So, Miss Kadesia, what is sleep regression? Oh, sleep regression is when a child is not sleeping at all according to a pattern. Now children normally form a pattern of sleeping which happens when they grow a little older because initially when a child is born they sleep more and more often they just have milk and sleep have milk and sleep that's the pattern but as soon as there is a spurt of growth in them and they are interacting with the outside world and they are more interested in what is happening outside so they are distracted from sleep so so to say so parents get very weary about this and they keep wondering and they are under a lot of stress and because they are so tired when the child is not sleeping so it normally lasts from 2 to 4 weeks and every child may not have it at all but this is a kind of a growth spurt and also when the pattern is not being formed but then there are other things that we need to take care of so why does this happen so this happens uh because of many reasons one is when the tummy is not full and they are rolling and flipping very frequently definitely then they will not sleep uh, comfortably so to say and if you are constantly changing their place of sleep also so even then they are not comfortable because children do not accept new things very easily another important thing to understand is that this normally happens when they are around 4 months old when they are wanting to fall into a pattern so there is this spurt of growth when they are interested in a lot of things that are happening their movements are suddenly increasing their rolling over is increasing and so the sleep pattern is changing so it also culminates into a kind of a nicer sleep pattern so this change is actually taking them to a nicer sleep pattern where they start sleeping for a longer periods of time so but you have to be very observant and see that you know the things that uh, you can make them uh, stable around the child not change things around them not bring in too many too much stimulation which kind of attracts his attention as he is awake again you know a child is about to take a nap and you switch on the light suddenly or you start playing the music suddenly or there is a person who is entering at that point of time so obviously the child's sleep uh, pattern will be disturbed right but I was also thinking how is it that young parents manage this phase See when parents become parents they are already coping and managing a very small kid who is technically sleeping and waking up sleeping and waking up so they are kind of tuned into coping Now another point of coping with it is that some parents feel that you let your child cry and put him there to sleep I do not believe in that actually because children have to be loved and they have to be cared for and they have to be snuggled and put to sleep crying on their own can you know let them feel that they are in a very rude world but yes some very busy parents do that let them cry and put themselves to sleep now another thing is that when you are putting them to sleep so once what parents do is that they sleep with the child when they are putting them to sleep so that is something that must be avoided because uh you can stay awake and you can put the child to sleep that will be better because that doesn't mean that the child is relying on your sleep to go to sleep so this will give you a lot of freedom and this will give you some independence and the child will form a sleeping pattern eventually another thing is that keep the things a little calm uh a little relaxing no over stimulation when you're putting the child to sleep no extra noises you know uh, maybe a calm soothing instrumental music is excellent to put children to sleep so you can look at these tactics to uh, put the children to sleep so relaxing calming etc so there are definitely a few more ways of coping up with it and one is that setting a routine you know a children normally sleep very well after a bath and you must have seen that you know even during the day when you give them a bath they are relaxed after a massage and a bath and they sleep very well so setting a routine like you know bath 
bottle, book, bed, you know, in these ways. So these, this sets a pattern. So pattern making definitely helps a child to build a routine towards sleep because he knows that this is the time to sleep. This is the comfort zone. I've seen a book now. I've just had a bath and I'm relaxed and I can go to sleep. So that is one thing. Now, another is that the needs of the baby to sleep will keep changing. So you have to keep coping up with it. You know, so, and be realistic about it. You know, if your child is sleeping for 10 hours at night, which is brilliant, you know, and he's sleeping only say three to four hours during the day, which is okay. So don't insist that when you want your child to sleep, he should be asleep. You know, I am busy for work. So I have to, you know, say a lullaby or rock him to sleep. So that is unfair. So you have to set realistic goals for your child. If he's sleeping well, it's all right. Because there has to be a time when he has to interact and he has to engage. And also, last of all, the sleep pattern will keep changing. As the growth pattern will change, the needs for sleep will keep changing. Like initially, I'd said that when a child is born, he's sleeping most of the time. You know, just waking up to have his feed or you have to change his diapers or nappies. And again, he's back to sleep. So obviously, when four months, there is a developmental spot and he's sleeping lesser. And so it, it is random sleep pattern. So again, there is a pattern that's formed. So your child will actually find a comfort zone and how he sleeps. And it will also depend on the kind of uh, practices that you're putting him to and the kind of environment that you're cre creating. So it is a kind of a coexistence of the child in you where you also have to make an effort and adapt to the child's varying needs, which will definitely keep changing. Right. So, my dearest young parents, if during this process you find yourself a little frustrated or anxious, just know that this is pretty normal and a lot of parents go through the same. Just make sure you read loads, you do your research, take advice from friends, families and doctors and just remember to take it easy and go with the flow. If you found this video informative and interesting, hit that thumbs up button, comment on it and do not forget to subscribe to our channel Immunify Me. So, I will see you soon and until then, take care of yourself and of your families.